Hello everyone, in this video we will discuss about causes and effects of vibration. Any motion that undergoes fluctuations it produces vibration or oscillation. We can take the example of a simple pendulum, the swinging of a pendulum. Now while doing the design of machines, we usually try that the vibrations are reduced or they are not there for the machines in the foundations engines and the control system because in most of the cases the vibrations they create noise nuisance and they can also lead to the mechanical failures but also there are certain positive aspects of uh, vibrations if we talk about the human activities almost all, all i mean most of the activities whether we talk about the hearing Ear drums they vibrate. When we see light waves, they undergo vibration. When we talk about breathing, the lungs vibrate. In case of human speech, the vocal cords vibrate. And uh, there are many other useful applications of vibrations that we will see in this video. Now we'll discuss about certain causes of uh, you know vibrations in case of the mechanical systems. The first one is the imbalance. Now this imbalance is produced basically in the rotating equipments when the center of gravity it does not lie exactly in the center line which produces the unbalanced centrifugal force now when the masses are in same plane but they are not balanced it may be because of the parallel displacement of a principal mass axis or maybe non symmetric mass distribution this type of unbalance is caused as the static unbalance we have already studied about the static and dynamic balancing right and the other type of imbalance is produced because of the dynamic imbalancing in which the rotating objects they have got two or more unbalanced masses in different planes so they produce the unbalanced force along with the unbalanced couple and this imbalance can also be produced because of the dirty parts the second type of the second cause is because of the misalignment by misalignment we mean what that the machine shafts or the parts they are out of line so this also misalignment also happens in case of the rotating shafts it can happen because of the thermal expansion or maybe the components they shift from their place or maybe you know after maintenance sometimes the assembly is not done reassembling is not done properly so a misalignment takes place now wearing we all know that wearing is what the components they get worn out so maybe the bearings or the gears so they worn out so what exactly happens let's if we take the case of the gear so when the gear to they engage so and if the engagement involves some damage tooth so force is not transferred properly therefore it causes vibration and the desired function or the desired operation is not performed now vibration can also occur because of the looseness or the loose connections loose bearings are there loose bolts are there or maybe because of the corrosion the some components they become loose so it also leads to vibration the next factor is the resonance so when the natural frequency of the vibration of any machine system it coincides with the external uh, excitation so this condition of resonance occurs and this can also so in this the amplitude of vibrations is very large and it can also lead to the failure of the system or the machine so bearing damage can also lead to vibrations now because of various types of vibrations different types of effects are produced in the machines or the systems and some of the negative effects are the machine where it accelerates right so the uh, system having vibration it consumes more of power it creates noise it creates nuisance and in some cases the amplitude of vibration is so large that it can also lead to the mechanical failure of the system it leads to more wear right it can also lead to the poor surface finish in case of let's say uh, you know metal cutting systems or and also the people who are working in those environment where you know vibration is there it can also lead to the safety issues and the diminished working conditions and the detriment and can also have detrimental effect on the 
health of workers who are exposed to vibrations for longer durations of time. But there are certain positive effects of vibration also and rather in certain cases vibrations are generated by mixing you know concrete or minerals in the system so they are also generated so some of the positive aspects or positive effects of vibrations are they serve as the indicator of machine condition so whenever there is vibration the maintenance people they come to know that okay something is not right with the system and they can act and repair the system before it finally you know damages or there is some complete halt of the operation and the vibration the effects of vibration they are also used in certain systems or in certain machineries they are used in washing machines electric massages they are used in clocks watches electric toothbrushes vibratory conveyors sieves they are also helped in you know they are helpful in uh, geological research and in lots of studies they are being used so they have got their positive and negative effects also so whenever they produce negative effects it is very important that while designing we ensure that the vibrations are reduced to make the system more efficient